What's going on everybody, it's Brian and this is part 13 of my PC build series and in this video we will be installing the motherboard. So here we have the case, I already have the power supply installed and there's a whole mess of cables over here so it might cause a couple of issues, I should have waited on that but oh well. So I'm going to go ahead and take the motherboard. Okay so I finally got the motherboard and the IO shield, everything is perfectly aligned and secured onto the case. So. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take the video card and we're going to go ahead and install it into the PC. So I'm just going to take off these little covers for the ports and the PCI Express interface. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put it into the top slot. First, I need to take one of these back shields off for the uh, expansion slot. So they apparently just slide out. And I also need to take another one off for the uh, Wi-Fi card. I almost forgot about that. And the motherboard did come with a two-port USB 3.0 little expansion slot thing. So I'm actually going to go ahead and install this as well. Here is the Wi-Fi card, and it just goes in very easily. I'm going to put this into the top the PCI Express 1X slot and it just slots into place. So the case came with a bag of many screws. These are for the expansion slots and your hard drives. So I'm gonna need three of these. I'm just gonna take three out of the bag. So first one is for the Wi-Fi card. I'm just gonna make sure it's properly secured into the motherboard. And then I'm going to go ahead and screw it into place. Okay, so we got the Wi-Fi card installed and now we need to install the video card. So let's take the GTX 560, which is massive, and we're gonna go ahead and put it into our top PCI Express slot. Go ahead and take this one off as well. So let's go ahead and put it into the slot. This is a dual slot GPU, so it takes up two slots, not just one. Most video cards nowadays are like that. And there we go. Let's go ahead and screw it into place. Okay, so we have the GPU securely in place. It does wiggle around a little bit, but the top bracket helps with that overall. And so that's it. So we have our two expansion slots, our motherboard is in place. Um, let me see if there's anything else to put on to actually mount in here. And it looks like that's it. So next up comes the wiring process, which is what I'm going to be fearing the most. So. That's it with this video and I will see you in the next one.